Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing Velo's latest Senso Ray bicycle saddle. So here we have Velo's latest addition to the Senso bicycle saddle product line. Now with the Senso product line, they're really trying to bring the latest in material sciences and performance at a much lower cost. Now if you're not familiar with Velo, uh, especially in the US, uh, you should be because they're actually one of the largest saddle producers in the world and you've likely ridden with one of their saddles but under a different name. So they produce a lot of saddles for other companies and more recently they're trying to expand in the US market and expand their saddle range to attract more people. So with this, the Senso Ray, it's a high performance saddle at a really affordable price point. Now packaging wise, really nice. It's a cardboard box with this reflective logo on here. You have the uh, website on the side and then not much else. So basic information here on the side. So stubby nose saddle, uh, standard width 142 millimeters. And this is the titanium rail variation. Let's go ahead and pop this out and go over the specs. Uh, retail price on this is $85, so quite cheap. Uh, pretty impressive to see at such a low price point. Uh, titanium alloy rails and you only have one size variation one color variation which is this black you also get their uh, concealed design so you see the base and the top cover there's actually no visible edge it goes underneath it's a nylon base with a polyurethane cover so and it looks probably quite nice you get a little channel relief here to uh, relieve some of the pressure when you're riding and as i mentioned this follows the current trend of stubby nose saddle so quite a bit shorter than your traditional saddle which gives you a little more flexibility to switch between aggressive position and less aggressive position with uh, more comfort. So now let's take a look at the weight of the Senso Ray saddle. This is a titanium alloy rail variation. This comes in at 242 grams and this is consistent with the Cell Italia titanium rail version and other saddles we've tested here. So now let's take a look at the fit and finish of the Velo Senso Ray saddle. Now as reviewers, it's always really fun to get the latest gadgets and the top variations of products from manufacturers. But with the Senso Ray, we're really excited to see a high performance saddle and affordable price. So the $85 retail price is really accessible to most people and it unlocks a lot of the performance you see with more modern stubby uh, saddles. So graphically, it's pretty nice. You get these little lines here they're white and black so it's subtle but not too busy it extends on the other side as well you get the velo logo on this side on the middle and then senso velo on this side so it's pretty subtle at certain angles it just looks like a black saddle and the base is a semi-gloss gray and what i like about the saddle is that the base actually extends a little bit further back it gives it a really clean look this also has what they call atmos shaping and with this design, uh, the upper and the base are actually melded together with no visible seam. So you can see it's really clean. The advantage of this is it looks more premium and it's a lot easier to clean. So if you go through dirt or mud, uh, it won't really get trapped anywhere. It's easy just to scrub this off and clean the base off. What's also interesting to see here is they just say patented on the bottom instead of adding the patent number, which I thought was a requirement. Uh, also, I pointed out that the base here for the mountain is really wide. This is two inches. So you get a lot of flexibility when you're mounting it. And overall feels really well designed. At 242 grams, this is not the lightest saddle on the market. So it has a little bit of weight to it, but I think it has really high performance appearance. The foam on here is pretty firm. So you can see as I push down on it, and it has good shock rebound, almost like a memory foam. So you see it takes about a second for it just to uh, uh, release the tension. You have variable density as well, so on the front, it uh, feels a lot softer. As you go to the back, it gets a little firmer. And you get this nice pressure relief channel. It's not a cutout, but it's enough that it's actually pretty comfortable on the road. Now let's do a little comparison with the Senso Ray and other saddles on the market. What I have here is the older version of the Cell Italia Flight. A saddle that's really popular ever since it was introduced in the 1990s. Uh, the big thing to compare here is just the fact that uh, the stubby nose saddle trend we have in the market really chops off quite a bit of the saddle. So you can see if I line these up, you lose a lot of the front. It also trims out the back if you line up where the rails are. It's also interesting that the uh, flexibility that the Velo saddles give you. So you can see you get a wider range 
between those stop marks. So the two inches gives you a lot more flexibility when you're mounting. Now, if we compare this to the newer Cell Italia Boost variation, you can see they're both stubby nose saddles, look quite similar. I believe this saddle is about 150, so a lot more expensive compared to the $89 here. So I think Velo has done a really good job providing the high performance appearance, the high performance stubby design, and the titanium alloy rails for a lot lower cost. If you compare this to Velo's more premium offering, this is the Angel TT, the women's variation. You can see the padding on the Senso Ray is quite a bit, uh, quite a bit less. So you can see it's a firmer saddle, while this one's softer and thicker. And then you don't get the Y cutout or their Arctech uh, rail design. So you can see this simply comes in at a less steep angle while this one has a little twist to it for a little more shock absorption. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Senso Ray saddle. What we like about the saddle is the attractive price. At only $85, you have a very budget-friendly saddle that has a lot of high-end features. And with the Atmo shaping, it's really easy to clean the saddle. If you go through dirt, grime, or wet, you can just wipe away the base as there's no visible edge between the cover and the base. Also with the stubby nose design and the pressure relief center channel, it's really easy to switch between different saddle positions, whether you're riding aggressively or more upright. Some of the cons of the saddle is the fact that there are no size variations. It's only available in this color and this size. Also, this is a saddle that may not be in the store or your local bike shop, but they can order it as they have a wide distribution network. And finally, the dimensions are not printed on the saddle. That's a feature we like on the Sella Italia saddles. It makes it easier to identify them. So if you ever need to replace it in the future, it's a lot easier to do. Taking everything into account, we'd give a 9.1 out of 10 for the Senso Ray. It's an affordable high performance saddle with a lot of high end features you don't typically see at this price point. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.